Hola, my beauties, your favorite makeup artist, SnickyCream.com, coming to you guys loud, live, and direct. And yes, we are about to do a question and answer on prom season. Now, some of you may ask, why are we talking about prom season and we haven't even made it past Christmas or New Year? Well, honey, these, these teenagers, they are talking about the prom season. This is a big hoorah for them. Like, this is like the biggest hoorah of their life in their mindset at this present time. So since it's your biggest hurrah, it's going to be my biggest hurrah too because you'll be calling me to book you for your second skin. Hey, can we say it again? Hey, for that second skin? Hey. So I decided to go ahead and answer some questions. The most common questions that people ask me when they get ready to book with me. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to accommodate everybody. Um, some people will book. Some people won't book. But, you know, hey, there will still be some prom goers going ahead and getting their second skin. And some of their family members that will be right with them. Can we talk about it? Hey, yes, ma'am. So getting into these questions. The very first question is, do you travel? No, ma'am, I do not travel. Why don't I travel? Because the kids now have to go to school, with the exception of a few, but it's just not enough time for them to get out of school, get hair done, get nails done. Some parents can't pick them up. They got to catch the bus. It's just too much going on. A lot of people on the road, and I don't really want to break down me having a day of five to a day of three because I have to travel. I'm going to be in traffic. You're going to be in traffic. You may not be ready when I get there. Just, just, just a whole bunch of things that will be going on when it comes down to the prom season so unfortunately prom season is the one season that I do not travel for and when I do travel for it, it's usually South Jersey uh, Ocean City something along the lines of that and that's already you know an acquired booking because I already know that I'm going to be taking time out my day to travel to do somebody's beautiful second skin on their prom day so unfortunately I do not travel on prom um, but I do have an entire room for you to sit in and watch and get your makeup done and feel just as special for your day question number two what do you get for $75? $75 is going to get you a beautiful basic application with lashes. It does not consist of the highlight or the contouring um, because I provide a age-appropriate makeup. Now, we are living in new days and things are a little, uh, I'm going to consider extreme based on how I was raised, but I do have a package where you can up the ante, and that's going to be for the Prom Special Deluxe. $90, you get the highlight, you get the contour, still age-appropriate, but then I still have to make room for those who are going for the full glam. Now, if you are going to book with me, and you want the full glam, the strong highlight con contour, the strobing, the big mink lashes, the cut crease, that is $140. Why is it $140? Because I'm going to be spending a lot of time on your face. It's going to be a lot of product going on your face. I know that most people look at the cut crease and say, oh, it's just a beautiful look. But if you're not a makeup artist or you don't really in-tune yourself into how it's actually done, it takes a lot of time to do the cut crease. You're on the eye for maybe an hour, hour and a half, and then you have to go in and you have to tweak the face to make it complement the eye. So if you are going for a specialty look, it is $140 for all of the prom goers. If that is not in your budget, I'm sorry. It's $140. So you have $75, $90, and $140. Not, not negotiable. Not up for discussion. Just tell me what you want. But needless to say, you'll still get a beautiful, flawless look. I mean, look at me. And this is, you know, this is highlighting contour. And so this would be like the $90 package. Um, up it with $12 for some mink lashes because I love my fluffy lashes. But it's up to you. You can always call me, inbox me. DM me and we can discuss it. Third question, can I get just my eyes done? No. And I have to say it with that face. No. I don't offer partial services. I don't, I will never understand the purpose of getting just your eyes done. Just, just the eyes, that's it. And then just nothing else, it doesn't even match. So, no, I don't offer partial services. You cannot just come get your eyes done. You can come and just get your lashes done. Um, and you can come and get your eyebrows done. But that's all that you can get from me so far as a partial. Question number four. 
how do I book? www.tanikagreen.com forward slash booking forward slash. Everything is done online. Deposit is required. You have the choice of paying by credit card, paying by PayPal. If you don't have either one of them or you still want to put your deposit, there is exceptions. Well, I will have you contact me and I will give you my cell phone number. And then you could just put your money down through Zelle. I do not do Venmo. And I do not do Cash App. It's either going to be Zelle, PayPal, or a credit card. I can invoice you. It's totally optional up to you. But those are the only options that you have. Question number five. What if I can't make my time? Um, I will move on to the next person if they are here. If you let me know in advance that you're going to be running behind, I'll try and switch you with another client and hope that that client is now on time or sometimes people ask me can they come in early i may not be able to accommodate them but i can definitely keep them posted just in different scenarios like this now if you are late and i still have a lot of time to accommodate you there is a late fee 15 dollars after the first 15 minutes do i want to charge that much absolutely no but once you knock me off my schedule i've now knocked everybody else off their schedule and we know how hectic prom season truly is so unfortunately um try your best to be on time a lot of some of the things that you can do like if you know you're going for a ponytail you know you're going for a full lace um you know you're going to have braids or something try and get those things done the day before um even when it comes down to the nails get your nails done like to, pedicure and your nails done like two to three days before it trust me it's not going to kill the overall look it's actually going to make it look a little better because if i remember right because i don't really get my nails done i just do press on press on now the cuticle is all nice and fluffy it don't have no extra um product around it like you know everything is just going to be going like literally into its flow so if you can try and x things out and not do everything on the day of that will make your day go by so much easier so then you can just be relaxed you don't have to feel about being rushed you don't have to be sweating because of the weather and you know have everybody waiting for you to you know as the prom goer <clears throat> Question number six, what if I don't want lashes? You don't have to have lashes, but it definitely does not change the price. No, it's a package deal. It doesn't change. So I will say that I have lashes to accommodate every eye, little teeny eye, big old eyes. I got regular human hair lashes. I have a host of mink lashes. Um, and just as a FYI, mink lashes do not come with the prom packages unless you're getting the specialty look for $140 that price is included so if you do want mink lashes for the day and we all know I don't want to say we all know but for the most part if you're into makeup and you're into lashes we know the difference between a good human hair lash and a good mink lash it's just it's just a difference. It just really is a difference. So if you want mink lashes on the day of, I have short, I have baby shark lashes, I have medium lashes, asymmetrical lashes, rounded lashes. I have them all, even down to the extreme lashes. Please up the ante by $12. And if you're going to go for the really extreme ones, which is like 25 to 35 millimeters, you can just go ahead and up that to a cool $18. Okay? Question number seven. Um... I'm going to have my grandmother, my two sisters, and my cousins with me. Is that okay? No. <laughs> it's not okay. First and foremost, I am a stickler for element of surprise, okay? Don't have everybody see what you look like before you look like what you actually going to look like. You haven't seen what you're going to look like once everything ties in together. So appreciate the element of surprise. I am only giving you two people to come with you. I don't even really want to, but I'm okay with two, and that's it. My Boom Boom Room is a very small, intimate room. It only seats two outside of me and you. So, yes, please, please, if you're going to be booking with me, don't bring the whole family. Please don't bring the whole family. And if you're going to have a child with you, and this is no shade or anything, please make sure that you can control your child. I... There's no other way to put that. Like, just please, you know, your child running here, you stopping there, they picking up this, they touching that, knocking that over. It just, it really just doesn't. Um, it doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. 
But moving on. Question number eight. Um, can you cover up my dark spots, uh, dark blemishes on my arm, my neck, my back, you know, everywhere? Technically, no. Um, <laughs> this only applies for makeup, let alone if you have dark spots and blemishes on your arm, on your shoulder, on your back, somehow, some way throughout the night, you're not going to be paying attention and it's going to rub off on someone. And especially your back. When you take a prom picture with your, your, your prom date or if you take a picture with your friends or something and y'all usually like lined up and, you know, standing there and looking all fly and beautiful, you know, you don't want to rub makeup on someone else. The makeup is not waterproof, it's water resistant. And even though it might be like a slight smudge or something like that, you know, depending on just your body and how you do things, you might damage their outfit or you might damage damage their, their whatever, and then it, you run the chance of it sort of rubbing off. So everything that I actually did is now obsolete. And so far as tattoo cover-ups, first of all, you're a teenager, you shouldn't even have, you know, tattoos, but that's not my monkey nor my circus. But if you are allowed to have a tattoo, you're going to spend me spend more money for me covering up that tattoo than you most likely will do for your makeup. So I would just say with all of these photo editing, you know, stuff, just go ahead and edit it out, filter it out, whatever it is that you're going to do. Cause we most, most, most of the young girls, they put filters and stuff and edit most of the stuff anyway. So I just say, do that with a tattoo or with a dark spot or a blemish or something along the lines of that. But no, I'm not going to, um, cover up a bunch of dark spots, blemishes. It just wouldn't be idea to your day. Um, do you get your hair done first or do you get your makeup done? Uh, sort of a tricky, tricky question. In between a catch-22, might I say. Um, if you're getting a ponytail or something like that, get the hair done first. Get that done the day before, okay? I mean, I know y'all can't wear scarves in school, but I mean, maybe a turban. I don't really know. I don't know. Everybody's going to be wearing the same hairstyle anyway. Ponytail, lace front, baby hair, curly hair, straight hair ponytail up, half down, you know. So I don't think it's going to make a major difference in what somebody's going to see on the hair because you all are going to be looking pretty much the same. But I will say, if you are getting a lace front, unless you know how to do your own baby hair, I guess I can't really say that because if you don't know how to do baby hair like in myself, hmm. Okay, so I'll just tell you what the cons are of the baby hair and the edge control. It don't mix well with foundation at all. I don't even know how to remove it. I have to go into the hairline. There's no way for me to remove the foundation from the baby hair. And I'm not even for sure if you go back in and put some more edge control on the baby hair, if that would actually take it away. Because by that time, we're talking about foundations, powders, translucent powders, blushes. I mean, I don't know. That's a tricky, tricky, tricky question. But I guess for the most part, everything is an illusion. So just be mindful of the pictures that you take up close. But if you are going for a lace front, these are some of the cons um, that will be going on. Um, I see that you do hair. Nope. TanikaGreen.com does not do hair. TanikaGreen.com knows how to do a mean straighten. And I mean straighten the joke. I mean like almost like silk like type. And I know how to do one C curl. You just take the curling irons. You twist it. And you just pull it. You twist it a little more. And you just pu pull it. That That's all that I really have. I've done it in the past for some clients. Um, because they couldn't make it back. Or they was running late. The hairstylist was running late. Or they couldn't get to them in time. Or just whatever. And I have no problems with doing that. It's just something that I do not offer for free. <clears throat> um, if I'm allowed at the, a lot of the time to actually help you with your hair, by any means necessary, I will definitely help you with your hair, but it will cost you um, no more than $25. Um, wait, let me take that back. Maybe like 35, depending on how long, because you guys be doing like 50, 60 inches. That's a lot of time. Not a lot of time, but that's still a lot of time where I could have maybe booked somebody else or cleaned my brushes, straighten up the boom boom room for the next person. Um, can I get dressed at your house? No. No. Um, I did that a couple of times last year, but I didn't have to realize that, you know, this is just, this is business. This is business. I do work from home. I have a room dedicated. It's called the boom boom room. So my makeup, um, no, you just can't. Um, if you are getting dropped off, if 
you are getting dropped off. I don't really prefer you to get dropped off, okay? Um, I feel like, especially if you're going for the basic application, I don't need that much time. 45 minutes, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, because some girls really just really want the minimum, the basic. They just want to look a little polished, you know, because they're put on a dress or whatever the case may have you. So for a basic application, I need about 30 to 45 minutes of your time. I really don't want you sitting here for an hour hour and a half I just had one isolated incident last year and I'm just like I, I just I just can't I had to leave out the house I couldn't leave her here I didn't want to leave her on my porch it was just it was just a lot it was just truly 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 a lot for me and especially when I really do have to go do things you know I'm gonna be left with leaving you on my porch I'm so sorry but it just no or maybe have uber money to you know you know um sort of recanting back to the first question was it the first question oh how do i book ww dot if you are under 18 years old you cannot book on my website um you're not legal if i try to take you to court or something it would be voided because you're not an adult so i'ma need your aunt cousin father, grandmother, somebody, somebody else outside of you that's over 18 years old will have to be the one to book. Um, I use latex glue and non-latex glue for the lashes. I always ask the one important question, the two mainly, but the one is most important. Um, are you allergic to latex? Um, it's very important to know that very important to know that i would think by now you would know if you were allergic to latex so it doesn't come across as often but i do get a couple of people that are allergic to latex and i just want to make sure that i take the necessary precautions because i don't want to be the one to ruin your prom day like i don't want to i don't i don't want to ruin your prom day um what else can i think of um I do not remove hair on the eyebrows. Uh, when you book with me, I let you know that you need to have three days to go get your make your eyebrows done. Very important. Reason why is because once you remove the hair, it will create a halo over the brow. It won't be as obvious um, for some as it is for others, but that's still a layer of skin that you're removing. So if you go get your eyebrows done the day of, there is going to be a strong possibility that one, your pores are not going to be closed enough um, once I put the makeup on. So when you start sweating and all of that, it's going to sort of seep in and you're going to see like little, little, little pockets. And then two, you're going to have a halo over the brow. I'm going to be honest with you. It, it, it's going to be a halo. Um, it may not be as obvious to you, but it would definitely be pretty obvious for me. Um, I always ask that you guys send me prom pictures back so that I can post them. Um, and that's all, I guess. A, a, a couple of nicks, uh, not nicks, but a couple of pros if you want to wear a glossy lip you know i can put gloss on your lip but just make sure that you have something to keep up with uh gloss does not last as long as an ultra matte does um even if you bring your own eyelashes it still does not change the price but i will be more than happy to use your own although most know that i am very addicted to eyelashes so i have a wall and a whole thing i ain't even gonna look down there yeah i'm addicted to eyelashes and brushes uh what else um you have up to 36 hours maybe even 48 to wear your makeup once i prep prime is set it's going to be amazing i've done two blogs on it and i live by my spray the um ben I, uh final sale matte spray that's what i use so definitely oh 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 and and most importantly if you want to choose the best time the best time for you it's best that you book early we always have the one day in May and the one day in June, well, usually it's two days in May, one day in June, where it's just so many proms. I understand that your toast off might be at this particular time, but unfortunately, you didn't book until this particular day, and you already got about three to four people in front of you. Um, if you just completely cannot make the um, appointment, uh, your deposit is non-refundable. Um, they do not carry over. I cannot send them to your cousin. Uh, I'm not going to do your mother's. Um, yeah, that's all I got.
<laughs> so, with that being said, if you are going to be booking for prom, just make sure you cross your um, T's and dot your I's. And just make sure that you're doing everything that's feasible within that day. Booking your hair, booking your nails, and, you know, all that other good stuff. So, I think that's all that I have. So, if you have any other questions, you can contact me at booking at TanikaGreen.com. Um, if you're following me on the social medias, Tanika Green on Facebook, Tanika Green MUA um, on Twitter and Instagram. You can DM me and ask me questions. Um... The only questions that I do not answer is answers pertaining to how your makeup will look on that day of. I don't answer those questions until you have actually booked. Uh, no shade or disrespect. It's all about business and professionalism. If you haven't booked with me, I can't really talk about what possible look or potential look um, that we are going for because at that point everything would still be hypothetical um and then i give you all the information answer all of your questions kiki and kaka with you and then voila you don't even book which is not a problem because it, you know it's not a problem but i don't answer those type of in-depth questions until you actually book once you book with me once you book with me I will send you a booking confirmation. It will consist of the address to where you need to come and um, the instructions. So, outside of that, your favorite makeup artist, TinkGreen.com. Smooches. <laughs>